Devante with MajorFilmEvents.com and today we are at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium for the 49th Annual Daytime Emmys and I'm so excited to be here today. We get to find out what talk shows and what shows are going to receive the coveted Emmy Award. Make sure you stay tuned to MajorFilmEvents.com. How does it feel to be at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Award? Mm, it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> I don't have on a mask. All right, look. You know, I can see teeth. Time I can say good. hello. You know, I can hug you. That's a great thing, you know, and to ever be recognized for your work is always a good thing. No matter what you're doing, if you're changing tires, if you're mopping floors, anytime that you're doing your job and you're putting your heart and passion and soul into it and someone recognizes you, that's a good feeling. So, yeah. What advice do you have for people looking for that recognition that haven't quite gotten it yet but are still trucking along the journey? Man, that's tricky because this do, in this day and age, this social media thing, man, it's always this instant gratification. And so now you're kind of expecting the instant gratification instead of just continuing to plow along. I know that's hard. I know that's tricky. I get it. But what else are you going to do? Actors have to act. Writers have to write. Painters have to paint. Stop moping. Just go act. Out act the ne negativity. Out act the fact that they're not giving you this, that, and the other. Sometimes you got to put the energy out in order for it to come back. And not, it's not going to come back in a week sometime. Or a month. It's going to be years. I've been doing this on this show 12 years. Wow. This is the first nomination. You don't think I've been putting in work before then? Right. You understand? So what am I supposed to get mad at everybody because they didn't nominate me? So everybody keeps asking me how do I feel about it. It's like, you know, I'm happy that I got nominated. But I've been putting in work for 12 years. It just so happened that this time it got recognized. This time I finally got a storyline. I got one storyline in 12 years. Wow. And I'm like, yo, you going to give me one? Oh, you going to let me? No cap? You going to let me go in? Okay. You want to bring heat? Then I'm going to make sure it's some smoke. Yeah. I know that's right. Yeah. And what was your nomination for specifically? Uh, outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Congratulations. Thank and thank you for the word. Come on, man. Look. And you came dressed to kill. So you was like, oh, I'm getting a nomination. I'm about to eat the kids. Oh. You got to. You got to. This is Lamage Raymond. Man, he made everything. The suit, the pants, the shirt, the bow tie, and the shoes. Wow. He's a bad brother. He did that. Yes, he did that. Man. You flexed it. Where can we keep up with you on social media? Uh, at Aaron, two A's, R-O-N, D like David, and last name Spears. That's it. On everything. All right. Yeah. It's Congratulations and have a great rest Appreciate of your evening. You, Much love. All right. Take care, man. You too. What does it mean to the two of you to be here at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards? I think it's it's an honor to be here, first of all. I mean, we're thrilled to be nominated. Um, it's also fun to be back in person on the red carpet and to see people from other shows celebrating their hard work. And uh, and we're thrilled to, to be here, bottom line. Yeah, we, we, everybody works hard. We all work hard together. And, and it's nice that our, our work is recognized by our peers. It's thrilling to be nominated. I know people say that, but it's true. And no matter what happens, it, I'm very, very happy that we get to represent the show. And what were you nominated for? What was the nomination? What were we nominated Outstanding for? Outstanding Entertainment News Program. Which is a little bit unusual because we're not truly we're not an entertainment, entertainment news. Inside we're Edition is news, we're primarily, not entertainment news. We're primarily a news magazine, but, yeah. but that's okay. Right. Any nomination is well received right. and we're very happy to get it. So if we're up for best knitting next year, that's we'll fine. We'll take it. <laughs> what was the initial response when you first found out that you were both nominated? Oh, I was thrilled. I was really excited. I, I knew that this year we were going to be back in person, which is fun. And of course, the next most important thing is what to wear. And so I was really excited to go shopping. So, I was, was actually good. happy because it meant I get to tell my mom, who was so excited. Was she? Yes. She said, oh, yes. If, if I'm ever down, I say, Mom, guess what happened today? And I told her we got nominated. I felt terrific. I love that. Oh. So much. What advice do you have to people that are hoping to one day tell their mom or their father that they received an Emmy nomination? I think the best advice if you were to receive a nomination would be to be thankful first and foremost and to be grateful and to count your blessings that you're in a position to be considered for an Emmy. Um, a lot of people work really hard to try to be journalists and you know go to broadcasting school and are writers and reporters and I never ever ever wake up without being so grateful for having the platform of Inside Edition to tell our stories. And, and honestly I don't think anybody on our 
show is going to work hoping to get a nomination. It's the last thing in the world I would think about. That's why the nomination means so much, because we're just trying to do our best at what we do. So it, 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 the, the key advice is do your job and be as good as you can be and give it your all. The nominations will come or not, but it, don't seek the nomination. You know? Congratulations, you two. Where can we keep up with you on social media? I'm at 4 Lisa Guerrero, G U E R R E R O. And I'm just my name, Jim Moret, J I M M O R E T, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Consistent. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I had a fabulous time at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmys. This was my first time ever covering the Emmys carpet, and this was a night of many firsts, including the first time Beyonce was nominated for an Emmy. Iconic. Make sure you stay tuned to MajorFilmEvents.com. You never know where we'll be next.